What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing ISC and today guys we're doing their weekly team building concept where I pick a few people from the content media section of the main discord uh, where they posted their team and their roster and I try to help make a better team for them in PvP or PvE or whatever content they're trying to, trying to look for. So today guys we've done a few already in the last two weeks and today we're going to be focusing on the last few that are left. So Majestic Duck from Server 1 uh, posted up his roster and his team so let's try to give him a hand here. Alright let's take a look here. The only reason I want to put Pain in there is he's my favorite character right now but this is my team I'm going for and he'll be appreciated. Okay so let's take a look. So Majestic Duck, what up? Thank you for being on Server 1, representing all right, so let's let's have a quick look at your uh, your setup here. Okay, so so far the force team is decent. What I would swap here is I would do uh, Mama Sakura put Kakashi second actually and put uh, Sasuke Habi SR la uh, last because you want him to actually stun. Chances are when Mama Sakura does her jutsu, Kakashi is going to end up killing the next opponent rather than stunning and. Sasuke Habi will actually end up having a brand new opponent to stun. So you don't want to lose that stun, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, do that swap real, right there. So the good thing with having Mama Sakura on force, of course, is she gets the attack bonus up, which, which scales off of her healing. So she'll heal more in that cell to all allies. So you'll have that there. Now for Spirit, what you always want to do is you want to put um, Sasuke Kirin first. The reason why you want to put him first, of course, is because he provides you a, the um, attack up and he gives you the damage increase rate up. But not only that, you want him to have the skill to go off first. Now, if he has skill to go off first, he takes 12% off of the damage reduction rate off all opponents for the rest of the battle, which means Pain and your Naruto Kage will hit harder. Now, Naruto Kage and your team is decent in there. Let's see what else you have, though. I'm curious. Let's see if we can toss in somebody else. Honestly, it's up to you on this one. I would actually replace Jiraiya there. Um, to give you more tribe gauge and he'll also increase uh the nuking abilities of both mama sakura and um sasuke kirin because he raises t damage um another really good option over naruto kage and he's a little better for your team i think synergy would be i now i gives you a stun and his limit break 2 gives all of the a units damage rate reduction and your team is pri primarily a unit so i would honestly if i were you remove a Naruto Kage at this point and put an eye and that also gives you a second stun for your cell so your spirit cell will look like this it'll be Sasuke Kirin, Pain, and I. okay and that way you're gonna have yourself the two stuns plus you'll have extra increase in in uh, damage rate reduction or damage increase rate reduction uh, damage increase rate if Pain kills somebody or leaves them alive so I think that's a very solid setup so I would do spirit, Sasuke Kirin, Pain, and switch an I over Naruto Kage. That's a huge, that'll make a huge factor in terms of your stuns and crowd control capabilities, as well as keeping your A units alive. Now your energy team, um, put Gara last always, because Gara will give you chakra at 50% at HP or less. And chances are a lot of people do attack Gara in that cell. And um, that way you're not wasting some of that chakra that's given, right? Because if you do specials with Gara in the middle, well, then you're not giving chakra to the other, you know, the last person, right? So he should always be last in your team. Um, so what you would do there is Sasuke Hebi, we should go first. I'm not a big fan of Rock Lee anymore, to be quite honest. Um, trying to see what else you can, you can do here. Again, Jiraiya is still an option. You could also put him there still. Um, I mean, Rock Lee is not bad. I would actually put Baruto in there, to be honest, over Rock Lee because he's a better nuke. So I would do Baruto to give that cell a, a needed attack up for the rest of the battle, right? Because Bartos skill two gives attack up for the rest of the battle for that specific cell. Plus he buffs himself for attack. So he'll he'll get a lot of buffs off of that. So I'll do Barto and then Hebi and then Gara. I think that would be the best setup for that set of that team because the energy team is a is a quicker team, but they don't hit as hard. And by having two of the strongest nukes there plus the attack up option, I think you're better off. So let's recap here. So force will be Mama Sakura. It'll be Kakashi and Sasuke SR, okay? And then Spirit will be Sasuke Kirin, Pain, and I. All right, so I's remove Naruto Kage completely. Plus, our I is one of the is the fastest character in the game. It'll increase your speed there as well, too. And you don't need as many UR scroll frags to get speed up. And then lastly, I would do uh, Baruto, Sasuke Habi UR, and Gara. 
All right, buddy. So try that out. Let me know how it goes. And uh, again, you can also put in Jiraiya if you're looking for tribe, tribe gauge up instead of uh, I. But I think I is a more of a solid choice for your team because you'll add two stuns per cell. And I think that's going to give you a lot more crowd control and better, better time there. Okay, so let's take a look here. Taser face S17. So you're looking for a better... Um, you're looking for a better PvP squad, and that's fine. So, okay, so first thing I would recommend is remove Haku. So Haku is really good if you're going to have a strong A team, but you don't have a lot of A's. You have a lot more T's and D's in there as well, too, as a mix. Um, so let's take a look first. So the, the, the top part's fine. What I would actually do is recommend move Sasuke Hebi to so here's okay here's my recommendation for your force team let's take a look at the rest of your squad real quick though just make sure i say the right thing before i say it yeah you've got pretty much asuma asuma is actually really good so what you could do is take out naruto kage put asuma in asuma is going to actually give you first off Asuma, you can increase speed by using speed scrolls SR. You don't have to buy UR, so you're going to be faster with him. Secondly, he's going to give a ton of guard rate for your whole team, which is, is required with someone like Yama, Yama, uh, Yamato because he doesn't give as much guard rate. So I think that'll protect you. Plus, his guard rate will stack with Sasuke SR's uh, uh, guard rate. So you're almost going to be at 100%. So Asuma for Naruto Kage, 100%. Um, so what you should actually do is force. You should do um, Mama Sakura, right? Uh, do... Naruto you are for the for the first kill so he'll get chakra back on that automatically and then I would do uh Sasuke heavy SR okay so that'll be your team so it'll be Mama Sakura on force Naruto you are on force for second for the chakra and kill and then lastly Sasuke SR for the stun and the damage control for spirit what you want to do is you want to put in now you have Two units that are actually probably decent enough here. If you want to use Jiraiya, Jiraiya is not bad in spirit, but I would put Blossom in for this. And here's here's my only reasoning why. You're on S17, which means speed scrolls are going to be a huge thing for you. If you if you have enough UR speed scrolls, then Jiraiya is a better choice. But if you don't have, if you're not a whale and you're not going to plan to buy speed scrolls, then any SR character will be better than a UR character because you can make them faster in PvP. So it's your call. So you could do the following. You could do um Jiraiya or or Blossom, right? Uh, you could put. Uh, oh, actually, sorry. You said you have Kakuzu up there too, right? So let me let me switch it up a bit again. Sorry. Let's let's go back here. So we're gonna for force because you have Kakuzu. I would do Kakuzu first, then Mama Sakura, then Sasuke Heavy SR. Okay. So Spirit, you're gonna do uh, Naruto. You are last. Okay. You're going to throw in Dedera first. So it'll be Dedera. Um, no, actually, Dedera, Naruto, UR, and then Asuma. Okay. And then you're going to take Heavy down to Energy. So Heavy first. Uh, you can leave your motto there if you want. Hmm. You know, yeah, I like your Baruto as well. Baruto, there's always a good spot. Actually, you know what you can do? You can do Heb you can do Naruto SR, uh, Sasuke Heb no, do Sasuke Hebi UR, Naruto SR, and Yamato. So it'll look like this. It'll look like Kakazu, Mama Sakura, Sasuke SR. Um Yeah, I think that's what we said. Yep, perfect. And then we have uh who are we missing here? Sorry, I'm just trying to see if there's another stunner that you can put in there. Yeah, hmm. So you go Dedera for Spirit, Naruto you are, Asuma. Okay. And Energy, you can do Sasuke, uh, sorry, Naruto you are, or no, Sasuke Heavy you are, Naruto SR, and Yamato. That should be perfect. I don't think you need Blossom in there or Jiraiya. It's your choice, though. If you want that extra tribe gauge, I would replace either Yamato. Yeah, I'll probably replace Yamato, to be honest. So either put in Jiraiya in there for Yamato or put in Blossom in there for Yamato. Um, but definitely Asuma and Sasuke Heavy SR are, are, are really good. Okay. So let's go to the next one. hope that helped. Sorry, that was a little bit of a cluster because I was trying to look at your entire roster while making this. 
Okay, so working on getting data out to four. Uh, good setup actually already. That's a this is actually a great setup. Nightmare Flame, you were looking pretty good, buddy. The only honest change I would do here is switch uh, uh, Orochimaru and, and Sasuke Heavy, to be honest, because Orochimaru Silence is good, and it targets a random person, right, and it doesn't kill them. Actually, you know what? No, no. You know what? Keep it as is. Keep it as is. You're actually good. Switch out Naruto and Kakashi. That's the only change I would make. Seriously, your team looks phenomenal. Great job on this, man. Nightmare Flame looks, you're looking really good there. Uh, yeah, the reason why I would switch out uh, Kakashi and Naruto is Naruto, chances are after Dedera does his move, will end up killing somebody with one shot. And Kakashi will have a stun for at least a second if he doesn't kill that person. So you're actually looking really good, man. So great job. That's, uh, that's a good looking team. Awesome. You guys are getting much better at this, honestly. The, the more I look at these teams, the, the better it looks every time. Yeah, there's nobody else on your on your roster that will complement this team as well as you have it already set up. But Dedero, that four star will make your team hit so much harder because he's gonna give you twenty point eight percent more critical uh damage. Plus he also and his LB2 has crit suppression. So you're gonna be doing crits a lot more often, and this is a perfect setup for it. So Nightmare Fl uh, Nightmare Flame, well done. Really well done. My stamp of approval on that one. Okay, so working on Mama Soccer Tito. All right, sir, let's see what you got here. Okay, so let's do a few adjustments here. So there's always been a misconception about Kakashi if attacking first. Now, he doesn't have to be first in your cell. You just have to be faster than your opponent, and he'll get the bonus from that. So what I would do if you have Mama Sakura is put her in force so she heals better. Get her up, okay? So she'll be first, then you'll have Naruto UR, and then you'll have Kakashi. So Kakashi will be last on that team. And then for Spirit, you'll have Sasuke Kirin. You'll have, um, let's move up. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Let's see what else you have before I say make that make that call. Let's see, Kakazu. You have Kakazu too, huh? Okay. You know what? We're gonna do a little swap. For your four team, get Kakazu up. You're gonna go Kakazu, Naruto, you are, Kakashi. Okay. For your four team, that team's gonna hit super freaking hard. So Kakazu, get him up. So that'll be your first team. So it'll be Kakazu, Naruto, you are, Kakashi. Then for your second team, it'll be Sasuke Kirin. It's going to be Mama Sakura. And you can go ahead and keep Sasuke SR there if you want, but I would actually move him. Yeah, you know what? Keep him there. That's fine. So you can have Mama Sakura take Blossom out. Now for your energy cell, get Dedera, Sasuke, Hebi, UR, and then keep Gara. Take Asuma out. That's my recommendation. So Asuma will be removed. Kaka uh, Kakazu will be moved in. Blossom will be removed. Mama Sakura will be moved in. So it's going to look like this. You're going to have one stun on the force. You have three stuns in spirit and two stuns in energy. Now, what you can do, actually, sorry, to even it out a little bit, is you can actually move Naruto down one to spirit instead and move Sasuke Hebi SR up to, enter, to force to balance out your stuns. So if you do that, it's going to look like this. Kakazu, Kakashi, Sasuke SR. Then it'll be for spirit, it'll be Kirin, Mama Sakura, Naruto you are. And then for energy, you'll have Sasuke Dedera, because you want Dedera first, so he does his, his AoE and raises everybody's crit. Sasuke Hebi, and then Gara. Okay, that'll be the perfect team setup for you. There you go. I hope that helped. And then Crimson. All right, buddy, let's take a look at yours. So, first thing, you've got too many tribes going there, bro. That's a, that's a big no-no. That's probably attributing to a lot of your losses. Tribes are, if you if you watched any of my videos, you know how tribes are detrimentally bad for your team. So here's what you're going to do. The first team you're going to do is you're going to go uh, Baruto and Force for first. Then you're going to go, uh, let's see who else you got here. Mama Sakura. Actually, you're going to go Mama Sakura. No, you're going to go Baruto, Mama Sakura, and Sasuke Hebi SR. Okay, so that'll be that'll be him and up there. For your spirit team, you're gonna go Sasuke Kirin, a three star. That's fine. He's perfect there. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Scratch that. Here's what we're gonna do because he's only three star. We're gonna do this. Force, you're gonna go Baruto, Mama Sakura, and you're gonna do 
Do you have Kakashi? No, you only have one star Kakashi. Um, you're going to go Sasuke, Heavy, you are. That's fine. So Baruto, Mama Sakura, Sasuke, Heavy, you are. For Spirit, what you're going to do is you're going to go Sasuke, Kirin. You're going to go Naruto, you are. And then you're going to do Sasuke, SR. Sasuke, Heavy, SR. He's going to boost up Sasuke, Kirin's AoE percentage to stun. Naruto UR is going to kill somebody for you, and then Sasuke can also stun. Sasuke SR can stun and also raise his own percentage. Now, for the th the energy cell, you can keep Tsunade if you like. I'm not a big fan of healers in PvP, but uh, what you can do there, I would take Tamari out because you don't. Now you're starting to put in some more T's, and she only buffs A's, right? You can let's take the rest. Of the look at your team here. Let's see if we have any more stunners. So Gara will be last for sure. So move Gara down to spirit or to energy last. So he'll be last. Um, you can throw in uh, Sarada first. Because she'll do damage rate reduction on all the opponents. And at the same time, she boosts um, attack and damage increase rate for energy units. Now, you need a stunner in there. I hate not having a stunner in each cell. You're kind of lacking stunners here. So we put Mama Sakura up top already. So what I'm going to get you to do on force is move Mama Sakura down to energy. Okay. And then put Naruto S. No, can't put Naruto S up top. You can either put Konkuro up top to force where, um, where Mama Sakura was. Or you can put Sanadi up top if you want that heal and, and chakra. It's your call on that. So energy should look like this. It should look like Sarida, Mama Sakura, or Sasuke Heavy You are. It's your choice. There's a stunner. There needs to be a stunner there. And lastly, Gara. Gara should be last. So that's what I would end up doing. That probably should increase your team quite a bit. Um, yeah. That's my that's my recommendation for you. That should actually help. Or, or actually, you know what? You have I. If you can get I up, he fits perfectly in any of these rotations. You can actually put him in energy instead of Mama Sakura and keep Mama Sakura in force. And I will give you that stun. And also, I gives a uh, damage reduction rate for all the A units you have in your team. I think that's it, guys. So I think that helped out. Um, I know for sure this that team will do way better for you, Crimson, if you if you follow that pattern. So again, for force is Baruto, Mama Sakura, Sasuke Hebi U R, if you want to keep it that way. Um sorry, Sasuke Hebi S R. Sasuke Hebi S R. Or U R. It's your call. Whichever one you want to put in there. Either way, he's boosting up one of their buffs, right? Um and then Spirit will be Sasuke Kirin. Uh who else do we say in there? Naruto U R. And either um Sasuke heavy SR in there if you don't put him in force. Or honestly, you can put in you can even put in someone like uh Konkuro or Hinata if you want more damage. And then for energy, um, I highly recommend getting eye up. Um for energy, you can put in uh Gara last, and then your choice between I there um a second, and first you can put in um who do we say was first again? Naruto SR first or second? So I think that's the best setup, actually, now that I look at it over again. All right, guys. I hope that helped out. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. I know it's a little harder to make those teams while I'm talking, but you know, if, if you need clarification, we can go through it again personally. Um, but I think that's probably the best setup for everybody. All right, guys, this is Payne. This is the weekly team building setup. Uh, we'll do one of these live one day. So if you guys are still looking for help, please put it in the content media. Don't DM me with your teams, please, and ask me to help you personally. It's I get too many of those. So toss it inside the content media section, and once a week I will help you guys out. Um, if you're looking for immediate help, go to the team building channel, and there are a ton of people out there that can help you out there as well too that are just as qualified as me. Um, but if you're looking for personal help, this is the way I'm going to do it going forward. Uh, anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll talk soon. Have a good one. Hey guys, Pain Blade back here again from Server One representing IC, and this is now going to be the second version of the team building exercise that I do weekly. I just realized I actually missed a lot of people up top, so we're going to do two videos today on this guy. So the first one is going to be focusing on the last uh, four or five individuals, and this one here is going to be focusing on the folks that I missed, which is starting with, let's take a look. 
Hmm, we've got a lot of people I missed here, so sorry guys. Let's go all the way back up top. Okay, Pork, we got J Man. Okay, let's take a look at J Man. I know you're you're a whale, and you, I know what you know what you're doing. So let's take a quick look. I know you don't put your roster either. You just kind of put your statuses of your characters, which is fine. That works out as well. Um, so let's see. You've got uh, Hadan, Naruto, you are Kakashi. That's a really good team. That's a nuking team. Hadan obviously boosts everyone A units, um, DRR, and he actually it's really hard at fifty percent. So, uh, if you want to actually take more advantage of um, of having uh, Hidan on your team, I would actually move him to Spirit. And the reasoning behind that is because that damage rate reduction that you're asked, that you're putting on him in Force, he's going to actually take longer to get to 50%, which is where most of his bread and butter comes from for damage. So I would actually put him to Spirit, and I would move Sasuke Heavy up top. So you would have Naruto Yuar, uh, Kakashi for first stun slash nuke. And if he kills somebody, you have a fresh target with Naruto SR to stun as well and he also gives of course the status rate up to um to kakashi or or you can do this you can go kirin on fours and give that attack boost to the units and the uh, dir which they will need and then you can have naruto and kakashi so that could be your setup or move kakashi down to spirit if you're looking for more damage so let's do it this way we're gonna go kirin on force okay naruto you are and Sasuke Heavy SR. And then Spirit, you're going to have uh, uh, Dedora because you want him to do his jutsu first, so you get the crit bonus. Then you'll have uh, Hedan and then Kakashi. And then for energy, so here's the thing. Like, Kakus is great, but if you put him in energy, you're kind of reducing his damage quite a bit. Um, and it's up to you on that one. I mean, you can keep him there. That lineup is perfect. I would leave it as is. But uh, your first two cells can definitely be modified. I mean, if you're looking for a little more control in terms of damage and in terms of your units, I would even add someone like I in there for another stun and for tankiness. So you can take Hakazu out in energy because I will actually work way better in energy personally. Um, but that's your call. It uh, depends on how you want it. But I mean, your team's pretty set up. So definitely change Force and Spirit up and try that out and let me know how it goes. All right, so that's one done. African amazing. Okay, so let's take a look, sir. Let's see how your team is set up. Okay, so first thing you want to do is put Kakuzu on force because the reason why you do that is because Kakuzu already increases his own damage increase rate and he'll actually, that's, it's a multiplier of attack, right? And because you get attack bonus from force, you're better off putting him there so he actually does more damage. So it'll be Kakuzu first. Um, you can do him not, uh, actually, yeah, I mean, it's up to you how you want to do this. You can leave Mama Sakura there and put Kakashi. So it'll be Kakuzu, Mama Sakura, Kakashi. For, Bar for Spirit, Baruto, Hinata, and Sasuke SR. Or sorry, sorry Aske, Sasuke UR, if you want. Unless you have the SR version somewhere here, and you've been working on him. Which I hope you have been. Yes, he's there. So this is what I would do there. I would go Baruto, um, Hinata, and Sasuke, Sasuke SR, and that's in Spirit. And then the reason why I like to put Sasuke UR in energy is he provides a well-needed boost to damage. So you go to Dadara, Sasuke UR, and Gara, and remove Naruto completely. I think that should help. Now, you can actually, if you want to have a little more tankiness in the spirit cell, take Hinata out completely and add Naruto SR in there instead. He might do a little more tankiness. Or if you're looking for Tribe Gauge, you can put him put Jiraiya there in spirit as well. Jiraiya is a great substitute, but those would be my recommendations. I think the rest of your roster looks like it could sit out, but definitely add, not, add Sasuke SR in there. Uh, Jiraiya is an optional, optional one for you, but do those switches for sure, and you'll have a lot better results, I think, especially with Kakuzu uh, in Force and switching Hinata to Energy or adding in Jiraiya. And the reason why Jiraiya would be good for you is also you have a couple T units and you boost T unit damage, right? So, but I mean, most of your T units are support, so it's up to you. It's, it'll be just essentially for an extra tribe gauge. But that's the recommendation there. Sinister. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, same scenario for you, I think, as most people I've been recommending. For Forest, put Kakuzu first, of course, because he he does more damage with any 150% HP or more. If you're using Kakashi to damage first, no one's going to have 50% left. So you want to have Kakuzu first. Then you can have Naruto UR to kill off one person after he does that, so he gets Chakra back. And then you want Kakashi in for the stun. That's perfect. Now, I don't like three 
you have, so you have three stuns in one cell and you could be putting one extra stun into energy to help out. So what I would do here is I would go um, for spirit. You could do, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see if there's a better setup here besides having that. Yeah, what I would do is I'd go, um, actually, yeah, let's do Sasuke Kirin. Um, Mama Sakura actually should be in your team for sure. So Mama Sakura and Spirit and Sasuke Hebi SR, and then move Baruto out and put Sasuke Hebi UR in energy with so Dedera, Sasuke Hebi UR, and Gara. So that actually ends up giving you one stun on top, three stuns on Spirit, and two stuns in energy. Actually, three stuns in energy because Sasuke UR does two stuns on his own. So you have the possibility to do three. So I think that would be your best setup. Now you can if you want to. Move Mama Sakura up to force with Kakazu and go Kakazu, Mama Sakura, Kakashi, and move Naruto you are down to spirit where Mama Sakura was and have two per two stuns per cell. But that's my recommendation. I think that will work out best. And as you guys notice, the same team seems to be coming up every single time. You guys have the roster for it. So I'm gonna give you the best team that's out there. That seems to be the best team for most people, and it always seems to work out. All right, DRV V Youth. Um Oh yeah, you're all over the place here, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Let's take a look and see what you got. I mean, you've got decent units. So, what you want to do... Hmm, do you have the new Sasuke SR? Did you work on him at all? I hope you did. It oh, doesn't look like you did, though. Okay. Okay, so here's my recommendation for you, man. Um you got a way too many D and T units. And if you're going to have a lot of T units, you're going to need someone like Shikamaru in there or uh, someone like Jiraiya. So yeah, here's what you're going to do for force. You're going to go Sasuke Kirin. That's fine. Leave him at, leave him there as is. Um, Naruto's fine. Oh, you do have Sasuke heavy SR. Perfect. Move Sasuke heavy SR to four. So it'll be Kirin, Naruto, Sasuke heavy SR. So move him from the middle for spirit. Take away Haku completely because you don't have enough ace for him to benefit. Put in Jiraiya. So you'll go Orochimaru last, Jiraiya first. So Jiraiya. And let's see, do you have another stunner in here? Do you have 1010? You do have 1010. And do you have I? Perfect. So you're going to throw in 1010. Yeah, throw in 1010. The reason why I'm going to throw in 1010 is because you're, you're using so many T units already that. Um, and by having Jiraiya there, he's going to boost all the team unit damage. So you're going to throw in 10 10 there. So go Jiraiya, 10 10, or Richamaru. So that gives you an AoE stun and a silence, right? And on top, now you're already dealing with two stuns. You have an AoE stun and a regular stun. So in, with Spirit, you're going to have um, an AoE stun, and you're going to have attack up, and you're going to have silence. And now for the last energy cell, Sarah does perfect as first, but she's only three stars. So I would remove her. Never use SRs that are three stars. Um, use the R's instead. R's are much better at four stars than SR's are at three stars. So what I would recommend for you in this case is put in someone like Kiba um, with instant jitsu. If you have him at level 40, are you level 40 yet? Let's see. Where level are you at? Yeah, 40. Perfect. Okay. So get put in Kiba as your first unit in energy for instant jitsu. Make sure you've, you make, get his vitality one maxed out or put in Shikamaru. Because again, you have so many T units, he boosts T unit damage and he'll stack with Jiraiya. So you can actually do this. Put in Sarada first, Shikamaru second, and I last. Try that out and see how it goes. Um, you, now, the biggest problem with your team, of course, is the fact that you only have so many D and T units and you don't have very many A, un, A units in your roster whatsoever that are high up. So I think that's your best bet. Yeah, so do that, okay, buddy? Let me know how it goes. Uh, current team, future team, roster. Okay, you guys are all doing this roster so differently. All right, Mikhail, slash pain, slash mod of Discord. So please re add with roster, current team, future team, and roster incoming. So this is your current team. Yeah, we can do a couple changes here for you for sure. Future team, future team looks better. Future team looks much better. Okay, so honestly, Mikhail, your biggest issue realistically is the fact that you don't have a stun in energy at all and that's going to cause a huge issue so what i would do for you is go the first cell is perfect leave that as is for your future team that is 
Your second sell is good, but move Sasuke Heavy down and put Jiraiya up. So go Sasuke Karen, Jiraiya, Sasuke Heavy SR. And then your next sell will be Sasuke Heavy UR, Naruto UR, and, and Gara. I think that's perfect. I don't think you need anything else here. I'm trying to see the rest of your roster here, but I think you're pretty much set up. Yeah, I, I think you're good. Just do that. Just make that one adjustment. Move Sasuke Heavy UR down, move Jiraiya up, and I think you're golden. So you're good to go, buddy. Let me know how that goes. Dope fresh for you. What's going on? Um, yeah, same scenario. So you guys don't have enough. You guys, you guys need more stuns in your teams because again, stun controls everything, right? So, um, okay. So, in your case, what I would do is I would move Sasuke Heavy SR down. So go Mama Sakura, Naruto SR or Naruto UR actually, and then Sa uh, Kakashi last, and then for Spirit go. Uh, Hinata, either Sasuke SR or Mitsuki, you can keep either or. Actually, no, scratch that. My apologies. So put Kakazu in four. So go Kakazu, um, Mom, Kakazu, Naruto, Yuwara, Kakashi. Kakazu, Naruto, Yuwara, Kakashi. So that gives you one stun plus the AoE nukes. Then go Hinata, uh, either Mitsuki, if you want the AoE, or keep Naruto SR there and put in Sasuke Heavy SR in Spirit. So Hinata, either Mitsuki or, or Naruto SR, but remove one of them for and move Sasuke SR down. And then for your energy team, put in Kirin, put, put in Baruto in first, Orochimaru and Sasuke Heavy SR. The reason why you want that, Orochimaru silence is 60% and nobody can use Jitsus after or tribes, right? So he'll be perfect in your team. So that should be your setup there. So don't fresh for you, that's yours. That's That's an easy one. Uh, bra moment. What do you got here, bro? Let's see. Hmm. The only change I actually I would do for yours, really, is switch Hanata and Kakashi for their cells. Move Naruto UR down to energy for more nuking and put Naruto Kage up to spirit. You have, and actually, no, you know what? Remove Naruto Kage altogether, put Sasuke Heavy SR, move him to spirit, and move Naruto UR down. So it should be Mama Sakura, Naruto SR, Sasuke Heavy SR. Then it'll be uh, Sasuke Heavy UR, Naruto UR, and then um, Gara, and just completely remove Naruto Kage. He just doesn't fit in your team very well. But that's pretty much it for yours. I think you're everything else you look pretty good. I'm trying to check the rest of your roster. Actually, I is a good option too. I always say I always recommend I honestly because he's he does buff every A unit just like Hidan would, but he offers offers you a stun. So you can actually remove if you want to. You can remove um, Hinata and put an I instead to get that extra stun in. You lose a little bit of damage, but you get more crowd control. And you also have Sasuke Karen. So I mean, you can also put him in anywhere you want and and benefit from that. So if you're gonna do something like Sasuke Heavy SR and Spirit, you can go um, I in Force and remove. Um, uh, and remove someone like Baruto, so less damage, more control, do the stun, so it'd be I, um, actually, yeah, no, you know what, don't put I in, your team's, your team's fine the way I just said it, and Sasuke Kirin, get him to four star first, I think your team's good the way it is, honestly, I wouldn't put him in just yet, I think that's everybody, yeah, we covered everybody, all right guys, that's the second video, enjoy, and we'll talk soon.